So what's up guys? Welcome to Beta Day 13. first today is my mama's birthday she turned 57 and she has had an amazing day she had a luncheon at work she got so much money so many gifts people show so much love so if y'all been following me y'all know i put my mom in my vlogs my snapchat and everything so go ahead and spam those comments and tell her happy birthday so when she sees this video she will see that everybody loves her and tell her happy birthday i did that on my insta and my facebook and so much love was coming through and i'm just so excited so happy birthday mama i love you now let's get into this video <laughs> All right, guys, so I was hella busy at work today and I was not able to record a video, but it is still Veda, so I was like, what can I do? So I started like just going through video suggestions that I get through email and on my social media accounts, and a lot of people want to see a what I eat in a day video. Well, I haven't recorded that yet because I haven't had the time to like actually go out, do it after day and show you guys what I eat, but I thought the next best thing is to do like the foods that I do eat, the stuff that has helped me make it through my 76th day on my diet i only know that because my fitness pal posted like a status and was like congratulate crystal she has been logging every single day for 76 days and that's and the th first thing that i did when i started this journey was to use my fitness pal um just so i can keep up with my calories because i am a calorie counter i don't do keto i don't do vegan none of that but i do count calories and if you want to see my diary it's public so if you can see what i'm eating you know every day and stuff like that because i log every everything no matter what um and also if you want to just follow me on my fitness pal it is right here so you can go ahead and look me up and follow me and i'll follow you back the link is also below so yeah um, i definitely wanted to get some type of eating video out for you guys because i have officially lost 35.6 pounds so it's like i'm almost to like my first goal i'm so excited guys but, but yeah here are the foods that i have eaten throughout this whole journey some of this stuff i eat every single day some of this stuff i you know go around but i'll tell you that so stay tuned to see what i've been eating to lose weight so guys first things first i had to give up like breads rice pastas and all that type of stuff when i started this because it has a ton of carbs and if you want extreme weight loss it's best to cut it and i don't mean cut it all the way out but just cut the number of grams that you're having a day um with my food scale i do weigh a bunch of stuff in grams even if it says like it's ounces it always has the equivalent to what the grams are so i just weigh everything in grams so i just just watch how many grams or milligrams or whatever I'm having throughout the day and my fitness pals help me with that but anyway since I had to give up bread I did really good the first month I'll say but then after that I was just like oh my god I need something breaded so me and Alexa just happened to be walking through Kroger and y'all I found something and I was like oh I was so excited and it is this right here and it's by La Tortilla Factory and it is the Power Green Spinach Kale Chard Wraps and it comes six in a pack and these are amazing for you. Pretty much there are 60 calories, only 60 calories per wrap. There is 210 milligrams of sodium. 14 carbs and less than a gram of sugar so these are amazing for you in the sense that you're not eating so much sugar and so much carbs because that's what bread pasta and rice has so these are a great alternative for you this is something that you can eat every day if you want to make like a breakfast burrito or if you want to make a taco for dinner or something like that and i like that the size of the tortilla is really really big so you only need one you're only getting 60 calories and you can actually have have like a pretty normal meal while you're on your health regimen the second thing that i have to have guys is some type of snack and here it is i love these this is the smart food white cheddar popcorn and i know you're thinking like sis that's not healthy me on my regimen i'm not necessarily going for a clean eating or eating super healthy i'm just looking for stuff that i can substitute in and out my weight loss journey and further in my lifestyle so i can stay on track so these are pretty decent these are better than eating a bag of chips so it's a hundred calories in this bag and we have 150 milligrams sodium 
three, I'm sorry, eight carbs and only one gram of sugar. I've so had these in every variety that they come in, meaning this is the 100 calorie bag. I've had the 70 calorie bag and the 80 calorie bag, but I actually found the 100 calorie bag. Um, one day I was in a, another part of town and I found them. So I started getting these and it's a good snack. If you just you know need to chew on something, eat these, drink your bottle of water and you don't have to worry about cheating on your diet. So guys, the next thing is something that I have literally had every single single day since I started my weight loss journey. I talk about this on my vlogs, on my Snapchat and everything like this is amazing. They should totally sponsor me. <laughs> and that is a fiber one bites. I have literally eaten one pack of these every single day. This is what I use. It's kind of like my dessert treat after lunch, sometimes after dinner. And I like these because you get the fiber that you need. You also are um, quenching that like sweet tooth that you have and you don't have to worry about overeating these because they already come pre-packaged in the service size that you need so you can just pick this up and go it's only one little pack and you don't have to worry about like overeating and pretty much the calorie rundown is 130 calories per pack and that's for both of them um 80 milligrams of sodium 21 grams of carbs and 9 grams of sugar again it seems like a bit much but this is better than you eating like five pieces of cake or you know eating a whole two bags of candy stuff like that so sometimes on the weight loss journey diet whatever you want to call it you have to give a little and take a little you know what i'm saying so yeah this is what i use to just like make sure that i stay on track especially during that time of the month when you have those chocolate cravings that's what these are for this one right here is the crunchy bites love these it's like you eating a chocolate cookie all in one they are so good and then this empty sis i ate the last one of these today for lunch and these are the brownie bites so if you want like a cakey taste or something like that these are good because they are little mini brownies like i'm telling y'all five one I love these things. Now my next item is something that I found because I was just walking around Kroger and I was on the cracker aisle and I was like, you know what? I really like to eat like crackers with my tuna. Um, I used to eat them with my salads, but not so much anymore and stuff like that. And I love making these homemade Lunchables because I have like this deli meat that I get from Walmart that's like really good in calories or whatever. So I like kind of making my own healthy Lunchables. So when I was walking, I found these and these are nut thin crackers. And these are really good for you because even Ritz crackers, like I used to eat the wheat Ritz crackers and I could still only have five of those because of the carbs and all that stuff and that was the serving size. But y'all, one serving size of this, this is the cheddar cheese, is 17 crackers and they're pretty decent size. And the serving size of these one, this is pepper jack cheese, is 16 crackers. So you can have 16 of these and 17 of these. And I'm like, I would rather eat these more than eating the Ritz crackers because you can only have five of the Ritz crackers. Now again, these are made from almonds. So this is the almond nut thing. Yeah, both of them are almond nut things. And then they have one that's made out of pecans and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a substitute. And I'm so excited because I found a lot of stuff that looks like what I want it to look like, but it is healthier for me. So these look like crackers, but they're made out of almonds, which are healthier for you. So I really like this. And again, like I said, I can only have five of those Ritz crackers, but I can have 17 of these. Yes, sis, I'll take it any day. Now, here's another item that I have had every single day of my weight loss journey. After and lunch, I normally have the fiber bites. And after dinner, I have a rice cake. Now, I know what y'all thinking because baby think the same thing. She be like, rice cakes? Eh, sis, don't knock it till you try it. This right here is also a sweet tooth craving killer. Like, this specially chocolate one because it has like little bits of chocolate in it. And get this, it's only 60 calories per rice cake. 35 milligrams of sodium and four grams of sugar so i do eat two of these so this is 120 calories of the chocolate and i also eat the caramel ones but the caramel ones since they don't have anything um like in them like the chocolate do they're only 50 calories um so i can have two of those for 100 calories and again the macros on these are good you don't have to worry about overeating if you do want to eat three <laughs> And you don't have to worry about it being super high in sugar because I'm telling y'all, sugar turns to fat. And that's why sometimes a lot of people can't lose weight. If you're not counting your macros and knowing that you're eating 120 grams of sugar every day, then you're realizing like, why am I not losing weight? You have to read the labels, guys. And reading the labels, you'll be able to have a lot of more stuff than you thought you could. All right, guys. So my next item that I love to eat, now I don't eat these as often, but baby go hard on them. But I do eat them whenever it's like, I just need a really, really good snack, but I really don't have many calories left for the day or I don't want to like waste my calories if it's earlier in the day 
is the Kroger version of Jello. It's called Gel, y'all. These are only five calories, zero everything else except for a sodium. They got 15 milligrams of sodium, but zero carbs, zero sugars, zero fats, everything, and only five calories. So you can literally eat all four of these for 20 calories. You see what I'm saying, sis? Like, because to me, I feel like, you know, I'm gonna be doing this for the rest of my life. So yeah, it's okay to eat, you know, this little thing and this little thing now while I'm on my journey. But realistically, I have to learn to make choices for later on in life so I won't gain the weight back. So just this little trick and tip of like, you know what, I'm hungry, I need something. Munch on some Jello. That way you're not getting hardly any macros and you're only getting five calories. So yes, the Kroger version of this and they only two for $3, so you get eight for $3, yes. Now my next food item is something I just discovered and I thank God for letting me find it. I ate salmon all last week, but this week I had the tilapia. And this is fish that is already like seasoned and put inside these oven bags and all you do is preheat your oven, then cook this. The tilapia, this one you cook for 30 minutes um, on 350 and then the salmon you cook for 26 minutes on 350. And literally I have had this every single day. Like sis, this empty. I ate the last one today. Me and baby going away walmart in the morning so i can give me some more but this fish right here is amazing it is the signature seasoning uh simply baked tilapia and again all the work is done for you just preheat the oven and put it in and it's like you cooked that yourself now the macros on this one is 130 calories per filet you get two in here um there is 520 milligrams of sodium and that is coming from the seasoning um and for one meal i think that's pretty good because again i'm not doing like cutting out a whole macro group i just make sure that i stay within reason um this has six grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein so this is really good so all week i have literally ate one of these fillets and a cup of broccoli sis and y'all i've been having real good dinners and then those rice cakes afterwards oh yeah now the next thing i'm going to show you is again i was walking around kroger and i found it i've already opened it because it comes with three and i had one today for lunch and it is these johnsonville flame grilled chicken breast I love these because for one they're already in the serving size so you can have um, three ounces of these and that is 90 calories 530 milligrams of sodium and the sodium is coming because these are garlic and herb um, and zero sugars 19 grams of protein so this is how they come packaged it's just like a little three ounce serving of meat so if you don't have a food scale and you don't want to overeat on your protein just pop this and it's microwavable put this in the microwave on one minute 30 seconds and sis you got you a whole gourmet chicken breast i'm talking about tender and so juicy <laughs> i'm so lame y'all i'm a foodie like me being on a diet like this is exciting to me when i find stuff like this so just disregard how i act but this is good um, but yeah, so this is a serving size chicken breast. So it comes with three in there, but I only got two left because I ate one for lunch. And I love just popping these in my lunch bag with some type of vegetable, which I'm going to show y'all next what I eat it with sometimes. But for the most part, too, I do eat this with broccoli, green beans, you know, black beans, whatever. Like, I really, really love these. And again, it's convenient because I have to look for convenience because I work all day and I have to be able to make it travel friendly and all that stuff. So yes, sis get you some now just telling y'all about the chicken breast and this is what i eat it with it's gonna blow your mind so pretty much <laughs> these are veggie made pasta so it is zucchini and lentil pasta they literally took zucchinis and lentils did whatever they had to do with them and turn it to make it look like a pasta so you're getting a lot of vegetables in it the ingredients are amazing but i have the marinara version of it i also have the original version of it so you can just you know cook it and then put whatever sauce you want on it and then i have the cheddar cheese version of it and this right here sis is like my mac and cheese alternative now i ain't gonna lie this don't taste like mac and cheese but i mean it get me close enough on my weight loss journey <laughs> and i love these because i weigh it out so 111 grams of this one is 160 calories 18 grams of carbs two sugars and 330 milligrams of sodium so i always like to have these with like a lesser sodium meat or something like that because it has like a little bit of sodium in it but again i only eat one serving size so it don't be killing the game the original ones have 140 car i mean of 140 calories um 22 carbs 
and less than a gram of sugar and only 160 milligrams of sodium and then too you get a lot of sodium in frozen stuff because of course that's how they preserve it so again i just count it i don't count it out and lastly with the marinara which i think i have to say this one may be my favorite i do have a spinach one i mean i'm sorry an alfredo one but i ate that for lunch with the chicken breast so yeah, that, that's gone. But it looks just like this, and it says spinach and lentil pasta, and it is Alfredo, and it's so good. I'm talking about it's so good. Um, but yeah, this one is 150 calories, 21 grams of carbs, and 240 milligrams of sodium. So I love these. Like ever since I discovered them in Kroger, I literally buy them every week, and I only eat you know, one serving of those like for lunch or something. Um, sometimes I may have it for dinner depending on what I had for lunch, but yes, these are incorporated and they is what keeping me on track. So getting down to my last two things, another thing that I have found that at first I had to learn to love, and that is this kind of ground turkey. And the reason I say this kind is because this is 99% lean, 1% fat. So this is a very, very dry. Because I've always eaten ground turkey in one fashion or another, but I always get like the 85 percent lean 15 percent fat or something like that so it you know it's a little more juicy it ain't as juicy as ground beef but it's a little bit more juicy and it keeps the flavor a little bit sis gotta be careful with this one because you can you can make it pretty bland but what i do is i saute this with onions and bell pepper i still do use my accent and my creole and then i just make sure i cook it really really good like i saute the vegetables first so that the flavor can get the going and then i put the meat in afterwards season it and get it going so i can actually eat it now so i really like eating this and believe it or not i put this inside that um marinara pasta and i turn it into like my own type of spaghetti and i really love it but the reason i switch to this is because for a four ounce serving you can this is only 120 car i mean 120 calories zero carbs zero sugar only 70 milligrams of sodium and 26 gram of protein so this is really really like a really good meat for you especially since it doesn't have that much fat so you can actually eat two servings of this if you want to you know what i'm saying so yeah i really like this kind of ground turkey where well, i had to learn to love it but i love it now <laughs> And the last thing is something that you guys always see me eat on the weekend, especially since I've been vlogging here every day, and that is my Weight Watchers Smart One Meal. This is what give me over clutch on the weekend. For one, I feel like this is a cheat simply because it's a TV dinner and it's not necessarily, you know, me having to weigh out my meat or weigh out this because everything is in here. And then two, I'm lazy. So on the weekend, sis, I don't want to get up and have to cook the pasta, weigh the pasta, cook the chicken, cut the chicken. I don't want to have to do that. I just want to pop and go pop and go you know what i'm saying so this is what i love for these again these meals can have a lot of sodium in it but you budget for what you want that's why i love my fitness pal because i'm able to put everything in scan it in if i need to because you can use this little scanner that's on here right here and you can scan it into my fitness pal that way it'll it'll come up and um some foods a lot of foods come up but sometimes you may have to enter them yourself and it's super easy to do especially if it's something that you're going to eat on the regular because you want that in there so you don't have to go through the whole thing all over again I and mean, you know every day but yes i just scan these right in pop them in the microwave eat this and then after that i still have my fiber brownie for dessert you know and on the weekend that's why i'm able to maintain because i feel like this is a cheat meal so it's like it's a healthy meal that i'm turning into a cheat meal so that i won't cheat you get it <laughs> so yes guys i got so many more meal ideas like i got a lot of stuff that i want to show you guys but this is just the stuff that i had now that i've been eating i know for sure like if not every day of this journey, but this has been incorporated the whole 76 days that I have been on my journey. And again, y'all, I am 35.6 pounds down. I am two pin sizes down. Like, I have lost six inches off my waist, and it's like, I'm doing this thing this time. And sorry, you know, if you're doing ketosis or if you're a vegan or something like this, because none of this stuff goes for that. And even technically, like the real um fitness gurus will tell you, like, all this stuff is processed, and you know, all this stuff has sodium. Yes, yes, it does. So it's not super like clean eating because clean eating is when you're eating raw and unprocessed foods. But first of all, I have a full-time job. Second of all, 
I'm getting married, so I'm planning the wedding. Third of all, I'm on the weight loss journey. Like, I just need to, it to be easy. Because it's our way already hard enough trying to drink a whole gallon of water and, and sip that nasty apple cider vinegar. Like, I don't need to stress out about my food. So, I just decide to go into the store, read the labels, and then take that, use that in my fitness pal, count my calories, and look at my macros and make sure I stay on track. And like and I, I said, it's been working for me. Not saying that this is going to work for everybody, but maybe you can see something that I showed you, get you some inspiration, some suggestions, you know, stuff like that. This is That's what I'm here for. I'm not here to tell people this is what you have to do, that is what you have to do, because again, I'm not a professional, a doctor, or a nutritionist. You know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody can look at this and be like, Crystal, you eating all the wrong shit. And I probably could be, but you know what? I'm losing weight and it's working sis <laughs> so anyway I am going to do a what I eat in a day video for you guys it will come so that way I can show you this stuff put together you can see what I'm talking about and I can show you how much each meal is and what the macros is for it. so you can see how I stay under 1300 calories every single day and it's been working like I said I have not went over I have had no cheat days no cheat meals no cheat snacks none of that you know what I'm saying oh but that time coming <laughs> but anyway if you do want to see more videos like this or if you just want to see me period because I am doing beta this is your time to go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notification bell to be notified when I post tomorrow's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow